Since I'm talking about life before and after my cochlear implant, I must include the effect it's had on my husband as well, because we are a very close couple. And he's been affected by my deafness as much as I have. I asked him to come with me to see the doctor, because I found I couldn't hear words and think of their implications at the same time. And also, mem I couldn't remember everything the doctor would say to me, so he came to help me in that way. I also grew considerably dependent upon him, because I couldn't hear what people said, say, in shops. So he would come with me, I would do my shopping, I'd get stuck with someone I couldn't understand, I'd immediately turn to him and he'd come to my rescue as a translator. In the car, which, say, we went down to see our son and daughter-in-law who were two hours drive away, we would go down in absolute silence because I found from the start, well, for a few years, that in fact um, I couldn't talk to him because if he said anything I had to turn and face him and by keeping turning and facing him in the car I began to get car sick. So we went down in silence. I found music very, very hard to hear. It's just horrible noise. And it has grieved me quite a lot because music was very much part of my life before I became deaf. I couldn't use the telephone, of course, which meant that anything that needed telephoning, even if it was on my behalf, had to be done by Rob. I used to text the family, which isn't quite the same as speaking. I now appreciate that I had an image of myself as someone who was slow-witted, staring, unsmiling, in other words, a little bit odd. And that self-image was part of my lack of self-confidence, I suppose. I felt I couldn't do things. I felt quite guilty about what I was doing to Rob. So I had become a recluse, very dependent on outside the house on Rob, very dependent on Rob for the telephone, and not a very good companion to him. He never complained, though. He's been very, very supportive. So, what's it like now? I won't say what everyone says, which is brilliant. <laughs> Rob and I happily chat together. We share opinions, we, we just chat, as any couple does who are close. I feel I'm almost back to normal. Obviously I'm not, but I feel I am. There are occasions when I don't hear, but I can shrug them off now. We talk to each other in the car, quite happily. We can chat, we can listen to music, because it no longer annoys me, and it's no longer quite noise. In fact, I'm trying to learn to listen to music. I have used the telephone. This is a bit more problematic than chatting, but I've had long conversations with my sister, I've had long conversations with my daughter, and I've spoken to friends, and I've even instigated telephone calls to people who I don't know as strangers in organisations. And I have regained my self-confidence. I do feel a different person. Listening to music is still a problem, I have to admit that, but I'm working on it. I've got more hope now that, in fact, with time and effort, I shall be able to get some enjoyment out of it. It might not be quite as it was, because I understand the processor does not reproduce uh, sound completely as I heard it before. Rob and a friend I have worked hard with the exercises with me so that I quite rapidly came to hear speech again and that was marvellous.